Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Osmond on Overlip and welcome to my channel. <coughs> Today is Thursday, October 14th, 2021, 7.28 p.m. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, this will just be another updates video. Uh, uh, I want to say that uh, I'll make this quick, but at the same time, I should take my time. I don't, I don't, I don't have much to really, <coughs> to really uh, report or say. It's just, just in a video where I talk about some of the let's plays I decided to cancel. And some of my future let's play attempts <coughs> for those that are that are interested. Um, hmm. Let's see. I recently deleted uh, <coughs> my save data for Lego Lego Dimensions. Uh, you know, with that game is 30 gigs, not even the game, just all of the expansions, like added up. Well, I didn't even have all of. I I, I had I had almost either most or, or half of the expansions, and that had already took up like 30 gigs. <coughs> I ain't even started playing it yet. You know, and I'm, I'm sure when I play it and start making saves and auto saves, that you know that'll add up and take up even more space. So I deleted that, <coughs> and I've canceled a lot of let's plays. <laughs> That's the bad news. <coughs> uh, the good news is almost all the let's plays, almost all of them that I canceled. I went back and retried them because I didn't really want to cancel them. I wanted to complete them, so I tried them again, and and uh, I still failed. So that's, I guess, double bad news. But the good news is, <sighs> good and bad, I guess. My let's play list just keeps growing. Like now that I'm not doing shooters. And I'm just doing <coughs> adventure games, you know, whether it be kitty kitty games or not too kitty stuff like Toy Story and SpongeBob stuff like that. And now that I'm doing like regular adventure games, my Let's Play list is uh, kind of skyrocketed. <laughs> so <coughs> let's go over some of the stuff I decided to cancel. And I guess it really isn't that much. I did complete Hunted the Demon's Forge. I decided to cancel Condemned 1, Condemned 2. <coughs> I don't know I, I don't know why I do that right there. I, I could have I could have like played part two instead of part one, but I don't like doing that. <coughs> whenever I have a let's play of a whenever I, whenever I want to let's play a certain series of games. I will, if I can't complete part one or whatever, I'll just cancel part two as well. Or if I don't feel like completing the first one. So I <coughs> gave up on Condemned 1 and 2. I completed Hunted the Demon's Forge. I played Castlevania Lords of Shadows again. I say again because I, I've tried playing it before in the past. <coughs> you know, now let's play it, just regular playing it. And it was okay, it's just the puzzles kind of got on my nerves, so. <clears throat> but me even playing that game was kind of an achievement for me, like getting past a certain point because I thought the game, that I couldn't play it at all, that it'd just be too hard or just too too frustrating with all the puzzles. <clears throat> the combat I liked, but I thought the puzzles would be frustrating. But once I really sat down and start playing it, like intentionally playing it, it wasn't that bad. The puzzles aren't that bad. <clears throat> I just think, uh, 
after a while the puzzle just kind of got on my nerves but but I guess the main reason I quit that let's play is because I was just kind of bored not that the game was boring it's just I didn't really want to let's play I, I, I more or less wanted to try let's play to try and let's play its sequel part 2 <coughs> or you know the third game whatever it's called but I didn't want to have Lord of Shadows completed without part two. So I wanted to play part two because I haven't played it before. <clears throat> but I didn't really feel like sitting through part one. So the good news is, like, I know that the game isn't hard. I've, I, I've played it. I know, I know I can get through the puzzles and stuff like that. So I can always come back one day and let's play both of those and get some achievements. <clears throat> I also let's play... I also attempted to let's play Knight's Contract. That game is a fun game. It's just, <laughs> it, it to me, it's hard. It's it, it's it's it, it's pretty hard. So I decided to just give up on that let's play. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I canceled my let's play of Dead Island. I actually made it to the very final boss, and you know I, I was so anxious to just get it done and move on to the next let's play. And that final boss just kept getting on my nerves, like just getting on my freaking nerves. And I was like, screw it, and I gave up. And I deleted all my videos. <clears throat> but I kept my data, so I eventually went back like a day later and beat the game regular. Just to get, you know, some achievements and see what if the game had a new game plus. And I cancelled Velvet Assassin for the Xbox 360. I also cancelled Blades or X Blades and Blades of Time. <clears throat> X Blades is like a beat 'em up. There's a lot of like, it's like a little like, it's 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 kind of, it's almost like an arena style game. Like each mission, you start the mission and like you're locked in a certain area, and sometimes you're timed, sometimes you're not. So the missions are more like, they're more like arena fights. You're not really in a in an arena, but the fact that like, the level that the missions take place in a very specific part of the level and you can't really <coughs> move anywhere outside of the fighting area it kind of feels like an arena game and Blades of Time is its spiritual successor whatever that means you know, like I, I guess sort of like a sequel so I didn't play Blades of Time because I cancelled X Blades and <coughs> excuse me there's a few more that I'm, I'm sure I'm missing. But uh, oh well. Beowulf, I believe I canceled canceled that game as well. And these are all 360 games we're naming. Hmm. I guess that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought it would have been more. There probably is more. It's, just, it's probably like a little more. It, it, it seems like a lot to me because there's a lot of games that I want to let's play. You know, especially you know for the extra achievement points, just just to build up, just to continually build up my gamer score. And there are games that I kind of feel like I have to let's play, or I'm curious about let's playing, but I'm not sure. So those games, like those, are ones that I was like, let me just get these out of the way. And then I'll get to the other stuff that I really want to do. So I guess those those games seem like a lot more than they actually were. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now on to the good slash bad news. <coughs> and this this news is only bad because <laughs> like I'm already past the point where I don't like since, 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 since we're not doing shooters too much. I'm already at the point where it's like. When am I gonna stop let's playing? I feel like now, like like, like how how I felt when I was doing shooters. When I was doing shooters, I didn't know when I'd ever stop let's let's play, and I was like, yeah, who knows when? I'll, I'll just let's play forever. I have and I have I have enough capture cards. <coughs> Although, like I, I I do have my games lined up and stacked on top of each other. All the, all the stuff I want to let's play. So I know when I want to stop let's playing. I just have to look at my games. Well, I don't know when, 
But I know I do plan on stopping. But, uh... So... <coughs> the games that I've acquired and that I'm trying to acquire <coughs> are a lot of survival horror games. And... If you know me, well... Most people don't. But I've said it plenty of times on my channel how I don't like... I don't like survival horror games, you know, where you have to, like... Where you have no no weapons and you're just running around being scared all the time. <sighs> I've kind of become a little more open-minded since I'm doing just adventure games. I'm like, well, I guess, I guess they count. I, I guess they sort of sort of count as adventure games, survival horror games. So I'm collecting as many of those as possible. I, I was thinking about buying the Fatal Frame games, <coughs> like the physical versions. PS2 and like a hundred bucks a piece, and I was like, uh, I don't know about that. But thankfully, uh, PlayStation Network has them for ten dollars a piece, so I have all three of those on my PS PS3. <coughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll be less playing those. Uh, Fatal Frame. Um, what else? Uh, all all of the Silent Hill games except for Part One. I'm gonna buy both of the Silent Hill games for the Xbox 360 and also the Silent Hill HD collection. <laughs> and I already have most of the Resident Evil games on PS2. And I have a lot of the Resident Evil games on PS on 360 as well. I, I, I have Resident Evil 6. I also have Raccoon City here, Zero, and Resident Evil. <clears throat> I, have Re I have Revelations on disc, but I have Part 2 digitally. So, so yeah, just a lot of uh, survival horror games. And I also went kind of crazy with the... Uh, <clears throat> Telltale games because I, I also didn't like it's not, it's not that I didn't like it's just I didn't really back when I was collecting for this system uh, for this generation the seventh generation really hardcore I was like let me just buy the stuff I, I know I'm going to like I don't want to buy a lot of like <clears throat> games that are just interactive movies but uh now that I have every game I ever wanted from this generation <clears throat> And now that I'm less playing adventure games, I was like, well, let me try and let's play a lot of the the uh, the interactive movie games. So for the PS2, I have just about all of them: uh, Indigo Prophecy, Da Vinci Code. That's not an interactive movie, but. Uh, Stuff like that, and on PS3, I bought, I purchased Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and a few other things. Oh, um, Back to the Future as well. <coughs> and on here, digitally on the Xbox, I purchased Life is Strange. Um, what else is there? I purchased The Wolf Among Us. I purchased the Raven. This game is expensive dig digitally. Uh, this game right here, Wolf Among Us, uh, Walking Dead, <coughs> Michonne, and I also purchased. All, I basically, I, I basically have all of the Telltale games, or all of the most common Telltale games for the 360. Now, physically, I have. Borderlands. I have to. Let me see. <coughs> Let me take a look here. I have. Um. Oh, I I, I actually bought both of the Saw games as well. I know they're not interactive movies, but I figured since I'm going to be doing interactive movies, I may as well do some point and click games. <coughs> some. At least try. So I bought all of the CSI games on 360. <coughs> There's three of them. There's... Let's see here. There's... 
there's hard evidence there's deadly intent and there's fatal conspiracy and I also bought the NCIS game <clears throat> which I didn't even know they had based on the TV series really I didn't know that just kidding yeah so <clears throat> those and they're kinda like point-and-click games well they are they're not interactive movies or uh, I guess interactive comics whatever you call it uh, graphic novels they're not even really that but they're more like interactive movies than, than they they have more in common with them than they do than they don't but yeah I have uh, I also brought uh, King Kong <coughs> the game a game I've been wanting for a long time I have it on PS2 <coughs> and this game should be pretty easy to uh, 100% because it only has 7 achievements and the gamer score like the total the, the total gamer score is a thousand so so that should be a pretty easy game to 100% but yeah I have Prison Break Lost based off the TV show I have Saw 1 and Saw 2 really expensive games online uh, Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper uh, The Testament of Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment and <coughs> and now for the Telltale games I have Minecraft Story I have uh, Telltale Game of Thrones I have Tales from the Borderlands that's a Telltale game a Telltale uh, and Batman the Telltale game series or the complete series, whatever. <coughs> so, if I add those up and and well, I also bought uh, a Sora's Wrath, <coughs> and I, I have almost all the DLC except for like one or two more. And the D the DLC is like two dollars a piece on Xbox Live. I also bought this game right here, Deadly Premonition. <coughs> And I also plan on buying this game, which is a, which is a download only, because <clears throat> I decided to give Dead Rising a shot. Because I've tried all the other zombie, not all of them, but I don't want to do Left for, Left for Dead. I, I I never wanted to buy that game right there. I, I never wanted that right there. I, I always looked at Left for Dead as just Valve's way of just you know breaking in, breaking in some extra cash to do whatever whatever they're planning to do. <sighs> so. <clears throat> Daily Premonition. I do plan on let's playing all three of the Death Spank games. The other Death Spank game is further down. Um, hmm. Too many games. I mean, I, li I literally have so many games. <coughs> well, well, well it's, it's, it's not... It's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's just, it seems like a lot because they're so freaking expensive. So it takes forever just to get a few of them. Yeah, I plan on doing Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. And a bunch of, uh... <coughs> oh, I bought Silent Hill for the GameCube as well. As well as, uh... Just a bunch of survival horror games. And my goal is... <coughs> here's my goal. Or, or here, here's how I... I'm I'm trying to do this. I have a, a bunch of games, this game included, that I'm trying to let's play right now. It's about ten or eleven, but they they're fairly straightforward. So I, I want to get through these real quick, and then I have a few shooters that I want to let's play. I know I said I'm not doing shooters anymore, but I decided to make an exception. I'm gonna I want to do a few. So. I want to get through this stack I have right here of adventure games and then this stack of shooters and then I will try the Dead Rising games. Hopefully I can get through all four of them and the one on the Wii and there's also yeah after that I want to try prototype one and two I was going to do those because I, wa I wanted to sort of compare those to Infamous because <clears throat> I always liked c comparing those games, you know, years ago. Even though I didn't play them, I had them. I was like, well, I don't know what's better, the Infamous series or the Prototype series. And sometimes people compare those two games, game series online, anyway. 
I'm going I'm going I'm going to take a break after I take a break from let's playing 360 games after I finish prototype 1 and 2 then I'll go over to the PS3 and try my hand at FMS 1 and 2 <coughs> and then the visual novels and then from there I'll do whatever games I have planned for the PS3 <coughs> And then PS2, then I'll come back to the Xbox, and then in a thousand years or whatever, <laughs> I'll be finished Let's Play and everything I want to Let's Play. I it seems like a lot, but I'm going to be. A lot of those games might be canceled anyway. I'm going to play them and see how they actually are and see if I can actually record them or, you know, you know um, see if I can actually. If I can actually. Uh, get through them let alone record them and then come back here to this system eventually sometime next year <coughs> and finish up after that I want to do I guess whatever whatever Telltale games I have for 360 and then I want to try and do all the Assassin's Creed games because I have all of them for 360 and most of the DLC We'll see. We'll see how things work out. And see now. Now, now I'm feeling rushed because my phone's ringing. But uh, I think that's about that. I'll probably I'll probably make another video. And I, I I'm trying to find a few. Not really party games, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. That phone ring really, really kind of threw me off because <laughs> I know someone's waiting for me. So, oh well. <laughs> Until next time, you guys be safe, take care, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys for my next Let's Play attempt, which will be this game. So, take care.